Ah, the age-old question of trying to discern the twins of the automotive world, the Dodge Stealth and the Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Both of these cars hit the streets in the early 90s and quickly became the stuff of legend. On the surface, they might look like two peas in a pod, but let's dive a little deeper to understand where they diverge. First and foremost, the Dodge Stealth and the Mitsubishi 3000 GT are essentially the same car underneath. They were born out of a partnership between Chrysler and Mitsubishi Motors, a sort of automotive bromance that brought us this fascinating example of badge engineering. However, despite their shared DNA, there are a few key differences that set them apart. Market Positioning The Dodge Stealth was tailored for the American market. It was designed to appeal to the American love for sleek sports cars without breaking the bank. Think of it as Mitsubishi's way of tipping its hat to American car culture, with Dodge serving as the intermediary. On the flip side, the Mitsubishi 3000 GT was a showcase of what the Japanese automaker could do in terms of technology and performance. It was Mitsubishi's technological marvel at the time, offering features that were ahead of its time and designed to compete on a global scale, not just in the American market. Styling cues. While they share a lot of body components and general shape, there are subtle styling cues that distinguish them. The Stealth has a more rounded front fascia, which was in line with Dodge's design language at the time. The 3000 GT, meanwhile, has a sharper, more aggressive front end. The 3000 GT also featured active aerodynamics on the higher-end VR4 model, including a front air dam and a rear spoiler that would adjust automatically to reduce drag and improve handling at high speeds, performance, and drivetrain. Both cars came with a range of engine options, from a more pedestrian 3.0-liter V6 to a twin-turbo powerhouse in the top-tier VR4 and RTTT models. However, it's in the VR4 and RTTT versions where things get interesting. The Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 was lauded for its advanced technology, including all-wheel drive, four-wheel steering, twin turbocharging, and active aerodynamics. This made the 3000 GT VR4 a marvel of its time. The Dodge Stealth RT Turbo offered similar performance features, but didn't get all the high-tech gadgets its Mitsubishi counterpart did in every model year. For instance, earlier models of the Stealth RT Turbo didn't include the active aerodynamics that the 3000 GT VR4 boasted. Brand Perception and Legacy Despite their similarities, the cars have fostered distinct legacies. The Mitsubishi 3000 GT VR4 is often celebrated among enthusiasts as a symbol of 90s Japanese automotive innovation and performance, holding a special place alongside icons like the Toyota Supra and Nissan Skyline GTR. The Dodge Stealth, while respected, didn't quite reach the same level of cult status, perhaps overshadowed by Dodge's domestic lineup and the Stealth's discontinuation in 1996, a year before Mitsubishi ended production of the 3000 GT. In essence, Choosing between the Dodge Stealth and Mitsubishi 3000 GT boils down to brand loyalty and the specific trim levels you're after. Both cars are a testament to a unique moment in automotive history, when Japanese engineering met American branding to create something genuinely unique. Whether cruising down the streets of Portland or hitting the open highway, owning either is like having a piece of 90s nostalgia, a reminder of when cars were as much about fun and innovation as they were about getting from point A to B.